I'd like to say Carve Solokol joins me now because we're going to talk about this man, arguably the biggest player in world football, Kylian Mbappe. And there are reports that he may have finally agreed to join his long-term suitors, Real Madrid. So, what can you tell us then, Carve? Where are we at with this? Well, look, he's going to become a Real Madrid player on the 1st of July. It's an open secret in the world of football that he is going to leave PSG and join Real Madrid. There have been lots of reports, especially in Spain, over the past few days and mm. weeks that a deal has been agreed with Real Madrid. The latest information we have is that that contract hasn't been signed. They're still negotiating the final details. But if you're a Real Madrid supporter, nothing to worry about. He will become a Real Madrid player in the summer. OK, he's going to be able to move on a free, isn't he? That's the whole kind of deal about this. And, and so they've lost out potentially on a lot of money, haven't they, PSG? So it's not as simple as that, though. No, I think it will probably be the most expensive free transfer in history <laughs> because the money that uh, Real Madrid would have been spending on a transfer fee and paying PSG, yeah. they're basically going to end up giving to the player. Right. Uh, so he's going to be getting a massive signing-on fee. There are reports in Spain that it could be over £100 million. Now... He's used to getting paid crazy money mm. and hopefully he's invested some of that crazy money You'd wisely think, yes. because he's going to have to take a pay cut to move to Real Madrid. The total package he's on at PSG at the moment costs PSG, uh, I think, around €200 million Euros a year. Okay. Now, he doesn't get all of that mm -hmm. because tax needs to be paid on that. And he will have to take a pay cut because there's no way Real Madrid can afford uh, to pay those kinds of sums. So what kind of figures are we talking about? Well, uh, according to Marca yesterday in Spain, he's going to get paid somewhere between 15 and 20 million euros uh, a year net. So that is after tax. Uh, so what, that is something like uh, one, two million pounds a, a month. After wow, tax, sounds like still. a terrible pay cut. I mean, <laughs> well, it, it is. I mean, but but in but in his world, that is a pay cut. Right. But he will be getting paid that, and also he'll be getting this massive signing on fee. Uh, but I think what Real Madrid are mindful of is they don't want him just walking in there and earning two, three, four times more than the other players in their dressing room. No. So by giving him a bigger signing on fee, they can keep his wages kind of within. Uh, their wage structure. He still will be the highest paid player at the club, but he won't be getting paid multiples of what players like Jude Bellingham are on. So I guess if he just puts it in a high interest account, then he can just get a little bit monthly or so. Yeah, just work it out. OK, I'm sure he can do the maths better than I can. Look, um, there was plenty of talk, wasn't there, about him being very attractive for the Premier League teams like Manchester City, even Liverpool. Is there any chance of him in the well, Premier League or is this... All the information we have at the moment is that there's no chance of him going anywhere else apart okay. from Real Madrid. But, of course, you know, he, he's a free agent in the summer, so technically he could go somewhere else, but there is no indication whatsoever that he wants to go anywhere else. And one interesting thing that we're being told, actually, is it suits him to be linked with clubs like Liverpool, Arsenal, Manchester yeah. City, because that helps his representatives in negotiations with Real Madrid. If they can say, look, Madrid, all these other clubs are interested as well, so you've got to pay us what we want. But I think it's a bit of a red herring uh, to imagine that he could be playing for anybody else apart from Real Madrid uh, from this summer. Even with the pay cuts? Well, I think he's going to accept the pay cut because we've heard this before. Massive signing on because fee. Because it's, it's massive signing on for him mm. because it's his dream to play for Real Madrid, the club he supported as a boy. Zinedine Zidane used to play there. They've been trying to sign him for seven years. And finally, his dream is going to come true.